eLearning Today TV. I'm Lauren. And I'm Lena. And we're here to bring you some interesting stuff from this week. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is a tool that I found. It's kind of like a storytelling tool and it's called um, Little Bird Tales. And it's just a great way for kids to kind of record a story and it kind of incorporates pictures with audio, with video. Um, and I want to play a little demo that the website has on there. I think it's a great tool and it's also um, kind of going green because they're doing everything online so you don't have to print books and it's just kind of a great way to capture your child's stories and um, I want to play this. This is from the site. Little Bird Tales is a website that allows you to capture the voice of childhood by creating an online book using your child's artwork, photographs, their words, and their voice. Now your child can narrate a photo album of a family vacation, birthday, holiday, or illustrate, write, and tell their own story using their own voice. Using Little Bird Tales to create an online book is fun, fast, and easy. You can easily import digital pictures or, if you're using handmade artwork, you can scan it or take a picture of it with your digital camera and save it to your computer. When you draw pictures using the Little okay. Bird Tales art, so it will as you can see, it's a really innovative tool that I thought was great. Um, and I think even teachers and parents can use it and kind of do a group project with their kids. Um, and I just really liked it. Um, and I have a link to that in there. And it's a great site. It's free of um, no ads and no links and stuff like that so it's a great site for parents and kids to kind of check out together cool that sounds really cool well and another new um site out there or more like social network now um is everloop is for um kids ages 8 to 13 there was nothing really out there for them to mm -hmm. kind of communicate and share links etc so they came up with this new alternative to facebook um and it's really directed to um parental involvement where um, kids in order to sign up they actually have to be get verified by by parents and mm -hmm. stuff like that so it's gonna be very secure um, and in fact I actually went tr to try to sign up mm -hmm. and it asked me um, it only lets parents sign up so no other adults can sign up so it's gonna be very secure for and okay. safe for kids um, they'll be able to share photos games and the idea um, of a kind of loop is that you have a group or a network of, of things that you like to do with your friends mm -hmm. and you're kind of going to just join groups. So instead of having like a profile where um, there's really, n you know, you gotta go and search, you, you are kind of grouped by uh, what you like. So sports, um, arts, um, different hobbies that, you, that kids have mm -hmm. and so forth. Um, it launched in, tu in Tuesday, so um, schools are getting involved uh, and so forth. So it, it, it looks like it's going to be a really great resource for them um, and something, a safe environment for them to be in, unlike other social media sites. So. Okay, and kind of going along that, um, I talked about virtual worlds to, uh, this week in the blog, and those are actually kind of for younger kids. So if you're too old for that, um, a lot of kids are checking out these sites. And I highlighted four of them. Unfortunately, they don't play on the iPad because they're all flash-based. Um, but I just wanted to talk about them. And there's all different kinds. There's thousands and thousands of virtual worlds. But the four I picked, um, the first one's Barbie Girls. And it's based off of Barbies, actually. Um, and you can kind of create your own character and world and living place and all these different stuff that you can design. Um, and then you can earn things like V-Bucks which is in the Barbie world, um, and you get VIP access to different areas and games. So it's a really great um, virtual cool. world. Yeah, I w I'm <coughs> sad it won't play here because it's really cute. Um, the next one's Beast Quest, and this one's actually based off of a book series, um, which I've never heard of, but it's the Beast Quest book series. And um, it's kind of like fighting off monsters and using powers and kind of knights and all this other stuff. Um, but you can go in, you can read, you can actually read about the stories and take quizzes on it, play games, and fight off things with magic there. Um, the third one's Build-A-Bearville, which is like the store Build-A-Bear, 
Um, and just like in the store where you can make your own stuffed animal, you make your own character, and then you get to go around the Bearville, I guess it's called. Um, <laughs> and you can change the, the color of it, the hair, the fashions, all the different stuff. And then you can actually kind of bring them alive online. And I think there's a way that you can go to the store and then if you want to kind of actually make it into a stuffed animal, you can do that too, which is cool. Um, and then the last one's called Chobots, which is like a robot. Um, and it's just a crazy place. Actually, I pulled this up, but it won't load. But this is what it looks like. This is like a Chobot. So it has like these colorful, um, crazy little characters there. And just like the other virtual worlds, you can <laughs> play Very games. Cute. Yeah, you can play games and connect with other people. And they're all really safe sites. And um, I think they're great to check out for younger kids. That's really cool. Not necessarily free, but... Well, most of them are free, but a lot of them have premium additions, too. And they're obviously, like the Barbies, you know, probably want you to buy Barbie with that one, but <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> That's great. That's great. So President Obama uh, met with a bunch of uh, tech titans this uh, past week um, out in California and mm -hmm. in Oregon. Um, and pretty much what he wanted to do was to um, create a education initiative where um, they can kind of get involved and um, talk about a better workforce. So kind of training um, this generation to future jobs and so forth. And some of the people that attended the meeting included representatives from Google, Apple, Steve Jobs even came, Max, Matt, Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook, Twitter, uh, the CEO of Twitter, um, Yahoo, Netflix, um, even people from Oracle, which is a database um, systems company that uh, Microsoft has for educators that don't know what Oracle is. And the president of Stanford came over, Stanford University, and uh, then Mr. Obama was going to go and get a tour of Intel and so forth. So um, it, to me, it's pretty cool that yeah. um, he's kind of trying to um, get the companies that are leaders in technology to get involved in education. So yeah. um, we'll see what comes out of that and hopefully something really great for parents, students, and educators. So that's the news for this week. All right, that's our show. We'll see you next week.